happy holidays. Happy ha holidays. Welcome to the CCTV Channel 17 Holiday Party. I'm here with Mark Perkel, and we're so glad to welcome you here this evening to Channel 17. Hello to all our friends out there, especially our friend David, who I saw in the co-op today, who said he loves Channel 17 so <laughs> much. So I hope he's out there watching. How are you, Mark? I'm doing well. I really miss this organization. I served on the board for, I think, close to 10 years or something like that. Yes, you did. And I mentioned that when I left, we had just decided to help this organization called um, Good, the Common Good, Common Vermont. Good Vermont get started. And it's like, is it going to do any good? What, what? And now look at what it's done. It's helped so many nonprofits that I'm familiar with that constantly I'll run into someone and they'll go, this is such a great organization. So, and I just love the work you do. So I had to come by for a minute and just say hi for old times. Besides, we each have the same birthday, September 27th. That's right, we do. <laughs> so yeah, Common Good Vermont is one of CCTV's projects along with Channel 17, Town Meeting TV. We've had, um, but it's been a big year for us. A lot of coverage of the BT issue oh in Burlington. God. Yes, yes. And, um, exactly. and we've got coming up in 2018, we have two elections. We have a town meeting election and a actually a primary election and a general election so we'll be covering those <laughs> and we miss you so much mm. thank you so much for you, being with us you're so welcome okay, okay thank you thanks everybody thank you. support this wonderful organization we're going to give out some okay. awards thanks right. mark yeah. we're going to give out some awards um i just wanted to say today december 14th is also an important day because the fcc just voted on a three to two vote to um, basically strike down net neutrality provisions that the fcc enforces and uh, so I spent the morning making these awards and listening to the FCC. And I have to say, um, this will go to the courts. So of course, the issue of communications policy basically goes from the FCC to the courts, to Congress, and back. It's a constant cycle. So it's not a great day for, um, for free speech and open networks, but the fight continues. And so we're just going to have some fun. And I have Kim Vilmer. Kim Vilmer is here, and Kim Vilmer is one of our star staff people here at Channel 17. Kim, nice Hi, to okay. see yeah. you. Hi. You look so beautiful. Yeah, thank thanks you. for coming tonight. And thanks for all that you do to program Channel 17 and keep us running in so many ways. What's your uh, favorite thing about what you do here? Mm, I like seeing all the people who come in that we can help. I really like a job that I can really get behind philosophically and not feel like I'm helping to destroy the planet. It's more like I'm really helping people try to make the world a better place, which is a really good place to be. And there's a lot of like little things you can do that like, I shared your video on VMX. Look who downloaded it out of state. And it's like, yes, awesome. And just like little things like that that help. Well, you do a lot of little things which add up to some really great programming and you know, the whole channel depends on the decisions that you make, and you just are a wonderful colleague, and we're so glad to be working with you. So we have a little Free Speech Champion Award for you this year, Cute. and we're just really glad. Let's have a look at that pretty little award. Isn't that nice? Yes. And we're just really grateful to be working with you, so thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks okay. for having me. Yeah. All right. Go have some fun. Eat some shrimp. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I just also would like to give a shout out to our friends um, who are watching, everyone who supports Channel 17, Town Meeting Television, and of course, our sister organizations, VCAM and RETN, that run the educational and public access channels. And you know, we have another award winner who's behind the camera, and that's Aiden White. And Aiden, let me see if I can find your award. Here it is. Come on, come on back here. And. Um, Thank you so Thank much. You. You've been working with us for how for how long now? Um, about three months. Is, is that it right? Been? Yeah. I think so. And um, how? And why do you like working at CCTV and Channel Seventeen? Um, I think it's just an amazing um, organization that or that does nothing else like um, any other station, as in getting involved with the community as much as Channel Seventeen does. Um, just even starting to work here, seeing all the people that just pass through and all the relationships um, that you see through here and just uh, being able to involve um, local communities like we do 
um, daily is um, a pretty amazing thing. Um, well, we're so glad you're here yeah. working with us. So we've given you the Jumping Into the Fray Award because you've really you've <laughs> just you so much. come and just gotten right into it, and yeah. we couldn't be happier to be working with you. So well, thank I'm, you. I could be happy to be here, so thank you. That's good. So you'll be <laughs> seeing more of Aiden in the months and years ahead. Thank you so much. He's also running the camera in addition to getting awards. There's Charlie Giannone. Charlie, come on over. Ooh, Charlie Giannone. How are you? Lauren, you're so incorrigible. You do this every year. <laughs> well, you are enduring, so you get an award almost every year. And this year is the Ear to the Street Award because you've come up with some great programming that we might not have known about unless you were paying attention. Yeah. Well, I keep my eyes open, and when I think it's something of, of interest, I, I bring it up, and sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. Well, it's great. And, you know, you were on the ground with the BT, the BTAB group, for a couple of years there, weren't you, covering that? Yeah, whenever they had a meeting, we showed up. Sometimes it was a 99% executive session, which is occasionally what happens, but there were some very informative and constructive meetings early on in the early years. So it was important to get those on tape. So. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. And most recently, you covered the Progressive Caucus. Is that right? Or you gave us the idea to cover the Progressive Caucus, right? No, I covered that one as well. Yeah, I, I thought so. Yeah. I've, yeah, right. I've probably covered the Progressive Caucus probably about eight out of the last 10 or 12 years, plus the Democratic Caucus, and even one or two Republican ones. They, they're not very communicative, but occasionally I will get a, a call back and say, hey, you know, maybe we should get that recorded. So it's always good to, get, to go to the caucuses to see how many people are there and what they're talking about and get it on film and get it broadcast as we always do. So, Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I hope that, I remember a couple years the Republicans had it in their, someone's living room. It was pretty small, but maybe they're getting a little more robust and we'll have a public caucus well, this year. Way back when, that's what the progressives would do. I remember going to some progressive caucuses back in the 90s and it would be like Terry and Dean and Karina and Mark and I way back when. And we'd vote on these little pieces of paper for nominating people for, for something or another. So that's how a lot of these things go in Burlington. You know, you do it in people's homes. So. Well, thank you so much for having your ear to the street. I appreciate this. I'll put this on my mantle. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Charlie. Yeah, we're really very happy to have such wonderful field producers here at Channel 17. And, of course, this beautiful f fire. <laughs> it's beautiful fire. This way. This way. Now, um, Alex is directing, but he's also getting an award. And I wanted to, maybe we could just, good, he'll come right out here. Alex Levine, he um, is our new our new production coordinator, our channel coordinator. Alex, welcome. There you are. Hi. Nice to see you. Am I on TV right now? I think you're on oh, TV gosh. right oh, now. Fine. And we're giving you the Taking Up the Gauntlet Award. The Gauntlet? The Gauntlet. But wait a minute. <laughs> Aren't nonprofits doing great and everything's going to be fine from here on out? Right? Well, as long as we have free speech and as long as you're helping open the doors to local government, we're going to be fine. You got it. So thank you so much. Love you. We're so grateful for all your work. Thanks. He's getting back to work. Okay. Kathleen, come on over here, girlfriend. You know, Kathleen Swanson has been working with us in the development capacity, but all around fantastic party nine planning. Nine years. For nine years. Can you believe that? Yeah. That was fast. Yes. But fun. Fast. But fun. But fun. And we do all kinds of great work here. And now more than ever, Absolutely. with all the issues that are going on, and we have so many great supporters who believe in our mission and the mission of making the community a better place by um, free speech and access to information. Information is power and we all um, need that more than ever because there is no fake news at Channel 17. That's true. And we, um, we have a goal to raise $50,000 this year? We do. We do. And we're getting there, but we would love um, for people, we can go to our website at um, Channel 17 or cctv.org and push on the uh, Donate Now button and we'd be happy to take your money and help with our cause. Yes, well, thank yes. you so much. All right. All right, great. So glad to have Kathleen 
working with us to help bring the dollars in. So some of the projects we're doing is a pretty massive archiving project right now. We have about 30,000 pieces of media in our stacks, and we're in the process of digitizing the content from 1984, between 1984 and 1996. And we have hired a person, actually we have some volunteer people that we may be able to hire to help us do this work. So that's one of the big projects that we're working on. So we're so glad that um, Kathleen's helping us raise the money. We've got two of our beautiful interns here. Come on over here. Okay, I'm gonna find you. We've got Hope and we have Tara. Wonderful. So thank you so much for all the work you've done helping thank out with you. Common Good Vermont. Thank you, it's been great working here. I've had a good time, really enjoyed it. Well, if it's been a pleasure, you're both incredibly capable. Thank and you. Hope, of course, got a real job after being an intern here, didn't you? Oh yes, well I'm serving for AmeriCorps for a year, so I'm technically not allowed to say that I'm working, but yeah. <laughs> well, I would call that a real job. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. This definitely was a good stepping stone for me to get there. So. And so it's with Mobius? It's with Mobius, yeah. Uh, Mobius is Vermont's mentoring partnership, so we provide resources and funding to one-to-one -one adult youth mentoring programs across the state. Fantastic. Tara, what are you doing next semester? Um, I don't really have any plans yet. I'm still taking classes. I'm a junior, so still got a little bit of time left. But, um, yeah, we'll just see. I I feel like I'll probably come in here a bit and volunteer and just hang out. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, nobody works the phone like you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> I know, it's a great skill. Hope, thank you so much. You both, Hope and Tara, get the Can Did Award for willingness to accept and meet all kinds of challenges. <laughs> Aww, thank you. So we're thank really you. grateful for your time. And uh, you. it's so valuable. And it's yes, been just so much. really delightful. Thank you. Thank you. And here's beautiful Morgan Webster, who will have come join us. Morgan runs Common Good Vermont, and she is the one that um, cultivates and takes care of the interns. Yes, do a little bit of everything here at Common Good Vermont and supporting CCTV and Channel 17 as well. So what's coming up for 2018 in Common Good Vermont? So we have a busy season coming up. First off, we have our Work-Life Balance Series. This will be the second annual. Um, we'll be talking about a, quite a few topics related to work-life balance. Mostly, how do you build a culture of work-life balance and wellness at your nonprofit organization, uh, which I think we all can relate to in terms of its importance. Um, and then after that, we have our annual Legislative Day in Montpelier, followed by our Finance Friday series in March. Um, and then we have the annual Day of Giving coming up in May, so a very busy Busy year. It's going to be great. So the legislative day is the 20th of February? Yes, it will be. And we'll start up about 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll have a full day of activities and we're looking forward to a busy and full house. Well, thank you for all the work that you've done to become a good Vermont on the map. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Lauren Glenn. Okay. Morgan Webster is the director of Common Good Vermont, and Common Good Vermont helps nonprofits to be more effective. It's one of the projects that CCTV put together really in a way to build a statewide network and also to help organizations and activists to be more effective. We figured it's great to put the means of media production into your hands, but if you don't have a story to tell and you're not being as effective and efficient as you can be, well then what is there to say? So that's why we started Common Good Vermont, and it's uh, started in 2008, supported by many, many organizations and funders, and we're just so grateful for that work too. It's a big gratitude day for us here at Channel 17 and CCTV. So we have some other, um, some other, awards, Jason would be getting one of them. Jason Pelletier, who is on our board. Um, I would like to say just a word about Mike McNamara, who has been the chair of the CCTV board for many, many years and a producer of um, maybe more than 100 programs, at least 100 programs, if not more. I, c I could... Um, Come, come here. Um, and so we're just so glad Mike could not be with us today, but he has served on our board, and we have been so appreciative of what he has done for CCTV, and we wish both he and Ida the very, very best. Emily, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about the programs you've been producing here at Channel 17. Well, there's two. One is a little bit in dormant, not dormancy, latent quietness. Yeah, I guess it's in hibernation. So um, 
The, the show that I'm doing most often, or the sort of project, is the bridging program. Students, um, I coordinate a program for high school students with disabilities. It's run out of Champlain Community Services. It has um, students from five area high schools in Chittenden County. And they go through, they're all in high school, but a lot of their peers have moved on. So the whole idea is that we assist them in getting out into the community in really meaningful ways. So they're working through three different learning sessions. And when they're working on community connections, they come here, learn about Channel 17, and then come back and make a show. And so the show generally sort of shares who they are, what they're working on, things they've already done. They often use an app called Pictello, which they've used to chronicle other places they've been. It often features um, a photograph that they've made with, of themselves, with, um, of their sort of group with Dan Higgins. So it's this photoshopped, funny, cool photo. So just as a great way for the kids to celebrate who they are, be on, on camera, be sort of separate from the usual support staff that work with them, and be telling their story. So again and again, and this collaboration with Megan O'Rourke is just dynamite and I'm really excited about the most recent one because the kids wanted to do tricks and it has lots of tricks where people fly in, people get snapped in, people disappear, set pieces arrive. So, so that's that show and then the other thing is um, Mark Utter has a show called The Uttering Mind, and he's a man who types to communicate. So the, the irony that Megan was like, oh, he should have a talk show. So he interviews people um, around a whole variety of issues. So we're, yeah. I love those shows. And I love the shows with the students. It's really, they're very moving, and it's they just light right up when they yeah. get here on the set. They do, they do. Our media is hard to it, gauge. Exactly. Yeah, so thank you. It's just such a wonderful thing. And you also have a new project, newish project. You have this beautiful little stand where you do fairy oh, card yes. readings. Is that right? Yeah, so I have a fledgling business called Bluebird Fairies, which is based on a, a drawing technique that I created using my other hand and drawing. Originally, it was drawing my demons and thinking of antidotes for them, and then it has evolved into me drawing fairies. And they're very lighthearted, and they're really, but they're earnest. The, the tagline is earnest little drawings that help you do big things. Because um, they sort of help you connect in with yourself and then find ways to be sort of lighter so you can get up and change the world. Fantastic. So maybe you could come and do that with the staff here. That would be so I neat. I would love to do that. Do so that. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Emily, so You're much for welcome. all your work in the community. Likewise. Thank you. Yeah. So will you bring Carl over? He's right there. Yep. So um, once again, we're here at the CCTV Channel 17 party, and we're here with Carl Jakes. Jo Carl, how are you? Fine. Fine. Thank you. I have a little award for you. Oh, I do. It's the Comeback Kid Award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> it's, uh, it was a long year. It was. Yeah. But you're back, and you're helping out just as never before. Oh, great. Well, I hope so. Tell us, um, maybe tell the folks at home why you think the work we're all doing here is so important. Well, especially today with Trump and other people, if I can use that word. Uh, and with the end of net neutrality, I don't, I don't even know where that's going to lead us. So all these things combined seem to be a lot of pressure on, on what we're trying to do, which is inform people of the truth and what's going on around them and have them be able to interact with their re representatives and people in a, in a positive and meaningful way. That about sums it up. Beautifully put. So when you were on your little break, were you watching Channel 17? Yeah, occasionally. I wasn't watching much of anything most of the time. I did some reading and uh, a lot of thinking, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I was going to ask, how did it look? Oh, it looked good. <laughs> Oh, it looked good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. All right. I've got a new high def TV, so I oh. want to see how we look now. Oh well, yeah. with our standard def, with the standard def quality. Oh, but this upscale, so uh, it should should improve it. That'll be good. Yeah. Well, Comcast actually doesn't really want to give us high def channels. I know. As you know. Yeah. Or put us on the interactive program guide, as you know. Yeah, I got uh, my four-page list of price increases from them the other day. Did you? Yes, uh, we get our internet through them and. Uh, Everything's going up. 
Well, maybe that'll mean more money for public access. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just more money for their lawyers to fight us. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, we spent $150,000 on that right. public service board case, and now they're in federal court fighting us, which is another project we're working yeah. on in 2018. Really insane when you think of it. It really is. Yeah. But yeah. they don't want anyone to tell them what to do as a company. And, you David know. David and Goliath. It is. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully um, the attorney general's um, defending the case and... They've hired a lawyer um, who's very f favorable to public access. So mm -hmm. I think I think these issues have state support, strong state uh, support. I hope so. so. That's good. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's see. Thank you for my award. Thank you for everything. Appreciate it. Good Thanks. to see you again. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Carl. Carl first started here when his son was volunteering. We were. Um, it was the 90s. It was the mid 90s that Carl was here. And uh, he's been here ever since with us. Steve, welcome. Steve Norman. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. You are, um, you know, you're on the earliest mailing list of CCC. I, I am. Yeah, I was at the organizational meeting in the Winooski. And, uh, and I keep coming back. Well, you are a deep defender of free speech. There's no question. <laughs> in any language. English, French. Uh, yep, yep. Bilingual Burlington. That's one of the, one of the things these days. Actually, we're going to be doing a program here in 10 days, uh, two weeks. Um, Fabrice Jaumont, a, uh, an expert on bilingual immersion education in elementary grades, is going to be here. He's just published a book on the subject, and he'll be here talking. And we're trying to get a, a live audience in for the show. And, uh, and uh, Megan said she would investigate live streaming on Facebook sure. while we do it. Great. So, um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be we'll back to some cocktails show. and they'll all come. Uh, I, I said, in, yeah, I sent out the email today and I said refreshments would be served. So. Fabulous. <laughs> so what's your opinion on um, the vote in Montreal to go from bonjour, hi, to just bonjour? And, and the legis I'm just really curious about legislating language. It's so, so interesting. Well, they have a history with that and... Um, and it hasn't always been uh, pretty. It's, um, I mean, I, it seems pretty silly to me. And if they want to say bonjour, hi in Montreal, and the rest of the, you know, the, the rest of the province, Quebec City and Trois Rivières and all the smaller towns don't need to do it because they don't have the English speaking clientele, uh, don't do it. Um, but, and, and I don't think anybody's really taking it that seriously in Montreal, but it certainly has a lot, had a lot of publicity. It sure has. So it was it a Quebec ruling or a, yeah. it was yeah. a Quebec yeah. ruling, a provincial ruling? ruling. Yeah. Okay. And really interesting. Well, it's, uh, Montreal could not be friendlier. It really is a wonderful place to visit. Just was there for lunch the other day. I just loved it. Well, there are more French, native French speakers uh, within two hours of us right here than native English speakers by at least a million, maybe two million more people. So I think we should uh, have more bilingual signage here in town. We have a little, but it, we've wasted a lot of opportunities. And um, seven years ago, almost six and a half years ago, the city council unanimously approved a resolution saying, we should have more bilingual signage. We should encourage the private uh, enterprise to be as bilingual as possible. And we should all uh, teach our, we should, uh, all our kids should learn some French at least in, uh, in the public schools. Um, so that's what the program next week is uh, on the 27th is going to be about. Uh, well, we'll look for watch. we'll look forward to that, and thank you for all your activism okay. over these many years and support for the work that we do here. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren Glenn. Yeah, thank See you. you later. Okay. So we're here um, at the CCTV Channel 17 holiday party. We're so glad that you could join us. Um, we're not taking calls tonight because it's a little loud, but we really are happy that you're watching and you're part of the Channel 17 family. And uh, we have we have a new we have a new guest here. Awesome. I think it's Tina. Oh, we've got a song. We've got five minutes and we've got a song. Hello. Do we have a we have a little song today? Yes, yes a carol. It's a Christmas carol. Okay, yes. ready? Do you want yes, me to hold the mic? Absolutely. I need my pulse, my where which is against Trump. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. <laughs>
Trumpy, the red face liar. Liar. Love to give the millionaires gold. Millionaires gold. So he gave them a big tax break. Tax break. And fell the people in the cold. All the other Republicans, Republicans hated women, queers, and people of color. People of color. McConnell, Ryan, and Roy Moore will do anything for money. For money. Then one snowing Christmas Eve, the people came to say, Trumpy, with your light so bright, you won't survive another night. Then how the people rose up, rose up. as they shouted out with glee. With glee. Bye bye Republican Party. Party. We are here to restore democracy. Democracy. Thank you. Thank you so much for being such an activist. Thank you. <laughs> here at here at Channel 17, we have all views and all comers. And so we welcome you here with any opinion that you've got that you'd like to share with the community in word or in song. We'd be just blessed to have you join us here because everyone is welcome. So thank you so much for watching. Helen Reilly, come on over. Helen Reilly is on the tr Channel 17 trustees. She also is the president of the city council in South Burlington. Welcome. Well, uh, well thank you for having me. You look beautiful in red. Well, yeah, Christmas. This is my, used to be my mother, so it's... Really? Yeah, I sort of wear it at Christmas time to That's help nice. me remind me of her. Yeah, it is sweet. So thank you so much for your help on the Channel 17 trustees and representing South Burlington. Well, you're very welcome. You do a real service to the public. So how has it been to have those meetings live? Has that been, have you heard back from people, the South Burlington City Council meeting? Yeah, yeah, no, I think there's a lot of people that listen. And um, we do get feedback, and that's great. That's and it, I don't think it's stopped the, um, you know, the, the dialogue at all. It's almost as if, I mean, Charlie's great, so it's almost as if he's not there. So I think um, democracy and conversations um, occur as they should. And, uh, you know, you think about when you watch congressional hearings and there's the speeches and everything is and it's very different when you get down to local yeah. local politics and local democracy so it's nice well you're doing your work you still are doing your work you just are live now you've opened the doors even farther to right. city government that's yeah. fantastic you deserve a lot of credit for supporting that well thank you we probably should get the courts to open up too that's i think they're trying it's been yeah. many years yeah yeah and i think people were concerned that it would change how things are presented but i don't know it hasn't on this local level but it certainly does in congress well, we've been glad as Channel 17 to be able to go live with these city council and select board meetings this year. That was one of our goals. It took us a year extra, but we got there. Yeah. So, that yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Helen. Well, you're so welcome. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And happy holidays. Here. Happy holidays. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank everybody so much for watching. We, um, we have a couple other awards I'll just tell you about. Jason Pelletier, the Guide by the Side Award. He's on the um, CCTV board. He's really helped bridge um, the relationships with the other channels and with uh, the Channel 17 trustees. We have the Mike McNamara Devotion to the Cause Award. Mike, we miss you. And uh, we appreciate everything that you have all the gifts that you have brought to us here. And then Jeffrey Tacky, who has been covering the Burlington City Council meetings, and uh, he gets the Trial by Fire Award for the BT coverage. I don't think he expected that he would be covering six, seven hour meetings when he signed on for this. And then finally, the Board of Keep BT Local, the Burlington First Award, a group of citizens who uh, really felt it was important to keep BT as open and public as possible and they work very hard and I know they will continue to do so. So thanks all of you for joining us. Have a blessed, blessed holiday season and much love from all of us here at Channel 17 Town Meeting Television, CCTV and Common Good Vermont. Good night.